what's up hey so uh this has been like the worst and um we all know that and <clears throat> so i've been thinking a lot about what to whether or not to you know keep going with doing like my you know what i always do on here like doing tips and tricks and you know nutrition information and yeah i'm in the car because i cannot get anything done in the house because the kids are just in the way and for whatever whatever it is i'm glad they're home but i'm glad i get to spend extra time with them and do all the things but you know the weather's been shitty plus you know social distancing and they miss their sports and they miss their friends and whatever anyway so keeping it quick quick tip wednesday that makes that makes sense i just wanted to um a lot of people are missing the gym and missing you know their regular workouts and today was supposed to be the day that i officially became a personal trainer um not just one that's done all the homework and has worked out for 25 years um but that obviously got kicked down the road so no test today that's actually been kicked down the road twice already so anyways i digress so three quick things that'll help you with your at-home workouts if you're trying to stay or get in shape and like i've been saying to my private um, nutrition and fitness group we're not trying to break any records here we're on quarantine so don't go crazy um one thing that i've been doing and this is my my number one tip. And if especially if you're like shelter in place style and you can't leave your house, um, even to sneak out into the car like I'm doing right now, um, if you can't leave your house and you're stuck and you don't have and you have just basic equipment, try breaking up your workout. And this will help you get through quarantine as well. Um, I think I said last week or whatever it was. I don't know if it was on here or not, but um, <clears throat> breaking up your workout into like three workouts instead of one will help you kind of like, you know, because people in quarantine, it's it's been, you know, I think I used the example of the uh, the prisoners. Um, you know, if you read John McCain's book, he talks about just getting through like hour by hour. And like, you know, people who are in prison incarcerated talk about this too. Like if you're in life in prison, how do you get through it? Well, you break up your day into, you know, like segments. So whether it's meals or whatever. So I, what I've been doing as a trick is... Uh, instead of doing one workout for 62, whatever, 60 minutes to an hour and 20 minutes, I do three workouts and breaking it all up into those time slots. So, you you know, you go work out at nine, at noon and at three, and all of a sudden, you know, at least it helps you break up your day and, and you know, so you, you know, wake up, have breakfast, oh, get my workout in. Then you're like, all right, you're not just going crazy. You're like, oh, I already worked out. Like, no, I got another workout coming at 12, you know, so... I'm not saying, like I said, don't go three hour and a half long workouts because then you can just kill yourself. But it does help. And it's actually been proven that, you know, uh, frequency is is a key to advancing your muscles. So when we get back to the gym, you'll have worked out so hard, but it, it's not going to feel that way because you can't bring the, the same intensity as you would at, you know, a CrossFit box or a big box gym or even, even a small personal training studio. Um, so number one is breaking up your workouts into multiple workouts over the course of each day. So instead of going for an hour and a half, do a half hour, half hour, half hour. It'll help you mentally and it'll help you physically. Number two, mobility. Um, this is a great time for us who have been working out for 20 to 25 years to finally say, like, we always say like, oh, I can't work on mobility. I just got to get my squats in or I got to get my deads in or whatever because I don't have time. Well, now... Now we got so, some time. And again, if you're stuck at home, you know, you can do mobility in your in your living room. And if you need help programming that, I'm actually kind of really digging writing programs for mobility. So let me know. Um, again, though, too, when we go back to our CrossFit box or a gym or wherever, our spin studio, our, by improving mobility now, we're going to improve performance later. So like I said, we have the time, you know. Work on your mobility, work on your ankles, work on your hips, work on your shoulders. You know, we're all like staring at our phones for an extra four hours a day now. Like we're probably going to get some upper cross syndrome and some forward head and all that. Like it can be worked on and there's ways, uh, there's ways you can test for it. There's ways you can, um, there's ways you can work on those things, you know, never mind just for like the pain part, but 
hell, performance in the gym when we get out of this. Um, number three, and this is one that I haven't started using yet, but I've, I'm going to because I don't have enough weights at my house. Um, I have a good enough amount. Like, just like, blah, I can get through it and get like a decent pump. Um, but I really have to mess with tempo and all this stuff. Um, but I've been reading a lot about static holds. So static holds before like machines and stuff came out at, in the gyms. Um, static holds were kind of like part of like all like all the strength athletes. Hey, what's up? Thanks for saying hi. Um, all the strength ath- strength athletes back in the day in the 60s and 70s and even part of the 80s, they did f- they did static holds as a way of one improving um, cellular uh, atrophy. Uh, whatever it is, <laughs> improving the breakdown of the muscles so that they can build themselves back up. And number two, um, reducing the, uh, the, um, the stress on the joints, because when you're doing like, like you backload a heavy squat with 250 pounds on it, you know, there is a, some load on your joints, but if you, you know, put 50 pounds in your hands and just hold half, hold it in the flex position on a squat, you know, you're not getting as much um, damage or pounding or whatever on your joints. So, anyways, thanks for stopping by and saying hi. Um, and uh, to wrap it all up, I will uh, try to be more, I don't know, I'm going to try to start coming on again because it helps me do stuff to do stuff. It helps me stay busy. I don't know, whatever it is. I just, I'm going a little crazy, like being inside and being just kind of like, it's not even that I mind being home. It's like, I feel like I'm, when you feel like you're not allowed to leave your house, it's like worse. You know what I mean? So next week I'm going to do a five part series. I'm going to tackle the five most popular diets that were, that are in the media and you know, on the Googles, um, right now. But for now, that's all for today. Three quick tips that wasn't so quick. Uh, break up your workout into multiple workouts over the course of the day. Focus on mobility and try static holds. If you got anything out of this, please comment, share, like, subscribe, tell your friends, whatever. It's all good.